At Marvin, we make more than just windows and doors. We make brighter mornings, open invitations, and relaxing retreats. We make windows and doors inspired by how you live, so you're inspired to live well. Welcome to Gray Awards 2020 The Movie. I'm Megan Berger, Events Director at Gray, and your host for the evening, coming to you from the magnificent Space Needle in Seattle. Originally built for the 1962 World's Fair, this international icon pointed the way toward the future with a sense of optimism and possibility. Local architecture firm Olson Kundig completed its renovation in 2018, an extensive overhaul called the Century Project which is one of 50 projects that are up for an award this evening. Thank you to the folks at the Space Needle for having us here tonight. The Gray Awards is an annual cross-disciplinary design competition presented by Gray, an international media company and publisher of the award-winning Gray magazine, dedicated to covering the design industry across print, digital, audio, and live events. Earlier this year, we invited designers around the world to enter their most exceptional projects in Gray Awards, our highest honors. And now, the wait is over. Tonight, we reveal the winners who were selected by an esteemed panel of international design luminaries. The judges reviewed 10 categories in architecture, interior design, landscape design, and product design, and score projects based on aesthetic quality overall creativity, function, and innovation. The Gray team reviewed and selected the winner of the Design for Good category. In honor of the elite region where Gray is headquartered, we will present two additional awards tonight to designers based in the Pacific Northwest, the Legacy Award and the Pacific Northwest Best of Ship. We are thrilled to have had such an incredible turnout of entries and are excited to share the Gray Awards experience through this virtual format. As you watch, we would love to hear from you. Please use the hashtag GrayAwards2020 in your posts and stories and join us in the live commenting during this premiere. And if you haven't already had a chance to check out Gray's new website, be sure to take a look at graymag.com. There you will find the latest in design and innovation delivered by stunning layouts and authentic content. The site is home to endless articles presenting compelling design, news and features such as an online expo, video chats with global design luminaries, and virtual events, just to name a few. Here you can also subscribe to Gray Magazine or buy individual issues as well. We want to say a very special thank you to our 2020 Gray Awards judges. It is because of design leaders such as yourselves that this award program has become a badge of honor for so many in the stunningly creative industry. This year's judges are Hi, my name is Anishka Clark, and I am the co founder of Ishka Designs, an interior design firm based in Brooklyn, New York. My name is Naya Bascom. I am the co-founder of Ishka Designs. Peace. Hello, it's Tom Dixon here broadcasting from 
wet and windy London, England. Really sad not to be with you at Grey Magazine for your awards ceremony in my favourite part of America, which is the Northwest. See you soon. Hey everyone. Hi, how are you? Um, my name is Jeannie Gang. I'm the architect and founder of Studio Gang. Um, coming to you live from Chicago. My name is Yuhe Timorajele. I'm one of the judges on this competition. Uh, I'm the founder member of MMA Design Studio, an architectural practice based in Chicago. Hello everyone, my name is Pierre Jovanovich and I'm a French interior designer. I formed my own studio in 2001 in Paris. We opened another office in New York in 2018 and we are specialized in interior architecture, interior design and furniture. Hello, I'm Martha Schwartz, founding partner of Martha Schwartz Partners. We are a landscape architecture firm and we work internationally with offices in New York, London and Shanghai. Our staff is a very talented international group. Half are landscape architects and the other half are architects. Good morning everyone. I'm Guo Pei from China. We would also like to thank our 2020 Gray Award sponsors and partners who have made this event possible during such an unexpected year. Thank you to our title sponsor, Marvin, to our additional sponsors, Design Within Reach and Chown Hardware, and to our media and industry partners, AIA Seattle, AIA Oregon, IDSA, Design Milk, and IDS. And what would an award show be with that magnificent trophy? We are pleased to thank internationally acclaimed artist and product designer, John Hogan, for custom designing and handcrafting the Gray Awards trophies since 2017. Grab a glass of champagne and a box of tissues and join us for this joyous celebration. Kicking off the fourth annual Gray Awards is Gray's founder and CEO, Sean Williams. On behalf of all of us at Gray, thank you to everyone who entered Gray Awards and to everyone who showed up in force to help make the competition and video possible. In March of this year, COVID-19 became a pandemic and it turned our world upside down. And while we may not have known what would lie ahead as each day unfolded, one thing we knew for sure was that Gray Awards 2020 must go on. There's a lot happening in the world and in our lives, and while we can't fix it all, the one thing we can do is use our platform to be a voice for the design community. We can help make connections. We can maybe facilitate a moment of joy. And as always, we can recognize designers for the incredible work that they do every day to make life better. So in May, we opened the competition as scheduled and received hundreds of entries from all around the world was really humbling to see the high caliber of design that surfaced in every category. I was particularly impressed with the student entries, sort of a reassuring glimpse into the next generation of design. Congratulations to all the finalists and especially to all of the winners. I couldn't be more proud of your accomplishments. We have a lot to cover, so let's get on with the show. Welcome to Gray Awards 2020. Thank you, Sean. And now over to Grace Deputy Editor, Rachel Gallagher, to say a few words about our charity partner. Hi, I'm Rachel Gallagher, Deputy Editor of Gray Magazine. I'm here to talk a little bit about this year's charity partner, Facing Homelessness. Founded in 2010 by architect Rex Holbein, Facing Homelessness is a nonprofit organization built on the idea that we can end homelessness when we invite the community to be a part of the solution. The Block Project, a program that grew out of facing homelessness, embraces this concept by building fully equipped tiny houses for unhoused people in the backyards of homeowners throughout the city, which not only provides them with shelter, but also builds important human connections that help reintegrate them into the community. To learn more about these organizations and to donate, 
please visit their websites. Thank you. It is my pleasure to introduce the great band of designers. Okay, are we all here? Yep, yeah. yeah. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, yeah, sounds good. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We have now come to the announcements of the 2020 Gray Awards winners. To begin, we have Sean presenting our inaugural Legacy Award. It's my honor to announce Gray's inaugural Legacy Award. This is a lifetime achievement recognition for an influential member of the Pacific Northwest design community. And the 2020 Legacy Award goes to architect Jim Olson, founding principal of Seattle's Olson Kundig. Jim is a Northwest native. He started his architecture career at the age of 18 while a second year student at the University of Washington. His father asked him to build a cabin on land already occupied by the family's summer house. This would be his induction into the world of design. The project in Long Branch, Washington, surrounded by woods and striking views of Mount Rainier, would become an aesthetic touchstone for the rest of Jim's career. Olson Walker Architects was founded in 1967 and over the past five decades has grown to become one of the most lauded and influential design practices in the Pacific Northwest and beyond. While Jim is mostly sought after for his residential work, his impressive resume includes an expansion of the Gethsemane Chapel in Seattle, the light catcher installation at the Wacom Museum in Bellingham, Washington, the JW Marriott Los Cabos Beach Resort and Spa in Puerto Los Cabos, Mexico, and the Kirkland Museum of Fine and Decorative Art in Denver, Colorado, among many others. Through his work, which expertly balances art, nature, and form, Jim has shaped architecture in the Northwest more than almost any other living architect in the region. 
He is the recipient of numerous honors, including the Seattle AIA Medal of Honor and many national and international design awards. His work has appeared in Gray and countless other magazines and books, including the 2013 monograph, Jim Olson, Art and Architecture. Congratulations, Jim. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Gray Magazine. Uh, I am so honored. Uh, the magazine has become such a great treasure uh, to the design world that it, uh, an award like this just means so much. It's so special. Uh, I'd like to dedicate uh, this award to the talented people that I work with every day at Olsen Kundig. Uh, they are everything to everything that I do. And also the consultants, the contractors, craftspeople, artists, all part of our lives and our clients without whom uh, we wouldn't be able to uh, do any of this work. But you know, architecture is, it's a marathon. It takes your whole life to get it right. There are moments when you feel like giving up uh, and you keep going and then later you're glad you did. But it's all about trying to get better and better and better. Um, and I just have to say that uh, an award like this uh, means so much to me and, and to the people that I work with. And uh, it just encourages us to keep doing what we do every day of the year. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Jim, you are truly a legacy. And now on to our original 10 categories, beginning with design for good, recognizing a project, product, or individual that makes a positive impact through design on a social, humanitarian, community, or environmental issue. The finalists are. Argyle Gardens, Holst Architecture. Moxie by Embodied, Fuse Project. Coil Collection, Light Art. Be Sit, Hawks and Heart. South Haven Center for Remembrance, Shape Architecture, Inc. And the winner is... Hi, I'm Christine Marvin, Vice President of Design at Marvin, a title sponsor of the 2020 Gray Awards. I'm pleased to be announcing the winner of the Design for Good category. As at Marvin, our purpose is to imagine and create better ways of living. For us, that means designing products for how people want to live, with solutions that harness light in the home in new ways, bring fresh air into a space, and enable a larger connection to the outdoors, and the home for seamless living. Today, it's a privilege to acknowledge the work of others who are designing in new ways for the greater good as well. The winner of the 2020 Design for Good Gray Award is Coil Collection by LightArt. Congratulations to LightArt on this exciting achievement. collection features upcycled pennant lighting created from recycled material. With distinct geometry and a matte finish, the upcycled plastic designs have a poetry-like quality that does not give away the real origin of their humbler yet beautifully designed material. Again, congratulations and well done Light Art Team from all of us at Marvin. Next we have the award for the open category Wildcard and your finalists are Affinity, Greenpoint Technologies, Inc. Sun 
Sensorial Estates Hong Kong Pavilion, We Designs. Gig Harbor Residence, Muda Studio. South Haven Center for Remembrance, Shape Architecture, Inc. Restock, Measured Architecture. And the winner is... Hello. The name of my category is The Wild Card, and the project is entitled Restock. It was done by the Canadian-based company called Measured Architecture. We'd like to thank the Gray Awards. And all the nominees. And all the jurors. The designers were asked to design and build a bar, bar pavilion for the interior design show in Vancouver in collaboration with Powers Construction and Unbuilders. The pavilion demonstrated a catalog of typical contents of a typical home slated for demolition and used reclaimed salvage materials to build a pavilion. The architect's goal was to invite viewers to radically rethink and then represent residential demolition and is ultimately a catalyst for change that promotes awareness and positive design making in the construction industry. All materials were repurposed and at the end of the show, no materials headed to the landfill. In addition to celebrating sustainable practices, the bar structure was declared one of the three essential features for the show. I love this installation and it definitely fits well into the wild card category. It is both mysterious, dark, and compelling while also signaling the coziness of the home. These conflicting binaries create a free zone which compels you to come in and explore and enjoy the rhythms of the hanging roof, the strangeness of materials, and the dramatic lighting. It holds your attention and inflames your curiosity. There is nothing more enchanting and fun than exploring a house under construction or deconstruction. It is definitely a think piece while exciting one's senses and having a drink. Thank you. Now the award for the open category of student design. The finalists are... Low. Austin Scott and Joe Bloomfield, Western Washington University. Chorus, Tareen Hung, University of Washington. Cora, Israel Amador and Mitchell Ayers, Western Washington University. And the winner is Okay, so here um, I'm giving the prize for the student category and the winners this year are Austin Scott and Joe Bloomfield of the Western Washington University with their project which was called Low. Oh! Woo! <laughs> Woo! We did it! <laughs> awesome work. Thanks everyone. A blood pressure monitor for young people um, to really improve their health um, with something which is imminently wearable and really nicely designed with a real in-depth research into the subject. So congratulations to both of you. We now have the award for the category of product and your friend Lissar. Herbert Basin, Nude Co. Concrete. Dialect, Selic Design.
Cirque Sar Carpets. Draft Level Select Design. Wool and Silk Area Rugs, Michelle Jerksey Interior Design. And the winner is... I officially announced the award of the design design of Draft Level by Slick Design. Draft Level is a product that provides guidance for a horizontal plane. Designed to fulfill this function in its most primitive form, it uses the gravity point of the object to find perfect balance. It is mainly designed for home use for basic leveling needs such as hanging frames or installing shelves. Draft Level is designed as a sculptural item that does not need to communicate its primary function in order to generate a home object for display when it is not in use. Next, the award for product design, lighting, or furniture. And the finalists are... Ribbed Desk, Kate Duncan. Weaving the Light, Dar Proyecto Studio. Tooth. Marimor. Wick, gray pants. Oxbend collection, Fernwood Woodworking. Pandarin, hay. And the winner is... Okay, so now I'm going to give the prize in the product design category in lighting and furniture. And the winner of this category is Da Proyectos Studio with their project which is called Weaving the Light. Yeah. <laughs> the team there worked with craftsmen with vanishing skills, but they also worked with high tech material, electroluminescent string, and the combination of the two really did make a, a unique project which we hadn't seen before. So, congratulations um, to all of you. You're a deserving winner. Now the award for civic or residential landscape design. And the finalists are... Riverfront Park Redevelopment, Burger Partnership. A Shoreline Reimagined, Broadhurst and Associates. Sublime, Paul Senga Creative. And the winner is... I'm pleased to announce the winner as the Riverfront Park Redevelopment Project. We are absolutely thrilled to have Riverfront Park's redevelopment get recognized with a 2020 Gray Award for Landscape Architecture. This was a great project with a great team and a great client with a common belief that our public spaces deserve great design. Winning this award confirms that we have achieved that and we are so proud. Thank you so much, Gray Magazine. This is a project by the Burger Partnership that is situated on the banks of the Spokane River. And I think um, rightful winner because it does three important things. Number one, it reconnects the city to its birthplace, which is the river. Number two, it 
resurfaces the heritage of the Spokane people in a very respectful way. And number three, it restores the ecology of the river basin. And all of this is done in a way that creates a new contemporary space for the city, a space of gathering, storytelling, and identity. And um, a very exciting reinterpretation of the original pavilion into a very modern um, and contemporary space that will be relevant right into the foreseeable future. And now the award for residential interior design. Your final star. Albemarle Terrace House, Jessica Helgerson Interior Design. Roanoke Residence, Osmos Design. Vaughn Project, Donna DeFresne Interior Design. Beach Rayosha, Lucas. Danny Blaine, Codemaker Pfeiffer. Prees, Codemaker Pfeiffer. And the winner is... Bonjour, I was appointed by the Grey Award to announce the winner of the following category, Interior Design Residential. The project that won the award managed to combine a mix of design furniture, vintage piece and natural material to create an intimate interior dedicated to family life. And now, I have the honor to announce the winner of the residential interior. The winner is Roanoke Residence. So surprised and honored that Osmos is winning this award. First and foremost, want to thank our clients for trusting us to build something compelling with them. Secondly, I want to thank my right hand comrade McCray Chrysilius in the Osmos office for her creativity and her humor. Thank you, Gray Magazine, for having us be part of this. Wish you all a good ending to this crazy year. Please give a round of thunderous applause to the company that designed the project Osmos. Congratulations! Next, we have the award for commercial interior design. The finalists are the Institute of Wellness and Advanced Aesthetics, Claire Mackey and Emma Dwinnell Mackey Design Group. Kimpton Alexis Hotel Guest Room Renovation, Sherilyn Olson Rigdon, Design Studio Limited. W San Francisco, Skylab. Rupi Bar, Heliotrope Architects. Sanctuary Studios, Methune. And the winner is... The winner in the commercial interior design category for the Gray Magazine Awards 2020 is... Sanctuary Studios by Methun. Methun is honored to be recognized by Gray Magazine for the design of Sanctuary Studios. This wellness studio experience balances the natural world with technology to elevate well-being. We want to thank the founder, Rob Martin, and his talented team. Their vision led to this first-of-its-kind immersive micro-retreat. This project is especially relevant today as well-being becomes increasingly important. If you haven't experienced Sanctuary Studios, treat yourself. Thank you, Grand Magazine. Congrats, guys. Well deserved. Now we have 
Happy Award for Residential Architecture. The finalists are Dog Trot, CLB. Laurel Hills Residence, Assemblage Plus. Treehouse Co-Living, Boda. Villa AT, Saunders Architecture. Glass Link, Scott Edwards Architecture. Whidbey Island Retreat Guest House, Burger Partnership, Cassie Hillman Pickard, the Miller Hole Partnership. And the winner is. I'm pleased to announce the winner as the Whidbey Island Retreat Guest House. This is a project by the Burger Partnership, Casey Hillman Pickard, and the Miller Hill Partnership. Congratulations. Hi, we are so thrilled to have received this award. We would like to extend a big thank you to Grain Magazine and the amazing panel of judges for recognizing our project. It is truly an honor and we're really, really excited. Special thanks goes out to our clients for their vision and creativity. They were so fun to work with. Thanks also to our design construction team, the Miller Hall Partnership, Julie Smith Lupe, structural engineer. It's hard to choose which award category to submit under. It's a sign of great integration of architecture and landscape. This project was an absolute joy to design and see built, and I can imagine a better team to have done it with. This is a very small, compact, and well-designed project that respectively takes its place in the forest of Douglas firs. It kind of burrows into the ground and wraps a blanket of earth and vegetation around it to become quite inconspicuous. It also uses timber successfully throughout, um, both in terms of the formwork for the concrete, as well as structural timber, as well as cladding, to create a very sensual retreat. Next is the award for commercial architecture. The finalists are Arrive Hotel East Austin, Baldridge Architects. Fogo Island Shed, Saunders Architecture. Blue Dot Showroom, Wector Architecture. The Burke Museum of Natural History and Culture, Olsen Kundig. The Century Project for the Space Needle, Olsen Kundig. South Haven Center for Remembrance, Shape Architecture, Inc. And the winner is... The winner for the Gray Awards Architecture Commercial category, the winning project is Bogo Island Shed. Yay, way to go. We'd like to thank um, Gray uh, Magazine for the 2020 Gray Awards. This is Todd Saunders from Saunders Architecture in Bergen, Norway. Uh, we won in the category for commercial architecture with the project Fogo Island Shed that's located in um, Fogo Island, Newfoundland, Canada. I'm working on the project for 13 years. It's a philanthropy project and this, the building's 100% off the grid and it's a very special project, so thank you. Thank you, Saunders. This is a great project, Saunders Architecture. Way to go, great teamwork. It's beautiful. I wanna go there. It's a project that really warms my heart. Congratulations again, um, enjoy your award, and have a nice evening. 
We have come to the final award of the evening, for which I would like to turn the announcements back over to Gray's Deputy Editor, Rachel Gallagher. Hello again. I am thrilled to be presenting our first ever Pacific Northwest Best of Show Award, which goes to a project that exemplifies everything we're known for in this region. Creativity, innovation, sustainability, and craftsmanship. I'm proud to present this award to Olsen Kundig's project, the Burke Museum of Natural History and Culture. An integral part of the University of Washington campus, the Burke Museum houses a collection of more than 16 million artifacts and specimens, ranging from totem poles and gemstones to dinosaur fossils. The new building embraces a regional design vernacular while creating maximum transparency by breaking down traditional museum barriers between public and back of house spaces integrating collections and research labs with traditional galleries. The building is streamlined, timeless, balanced, and beautiful. Congratulations to Olsen Kundig. And that's our show. We would like to send one more enormous thank you to our 2020 Gray Awards judges, Naya Bascom and Anishka Clark, Tom Dixon, Jeannie Gang, and Petty Morgelli, Pierre Yovanovitch, Martha Schwartz, and Gu Pei. Our title sponsor, Marvin. Our additional sponsors, Design Within Reach and Chown Hardware. Our media and industry partners. And of course, our magnificent Grey Badwood designers for the hard work and incredible contribution to this film. And where would we be without this fabulous space meal? Thank you so much. A final congratulations to all of the winners of the 2020 Grey Awards. We hope you have enjoyed yourselves tonight. Have fun, stay safe, and get safe. Oh, oh.